Apologetics is the discipline in Christian theology where the goal is to defend the Christian faith. And Christian scholars have uh, formed four different approaches or schools of thought when it comes to the methodology for engaging in apologetics. One of them is the classical approach. Uh, Travis, could you explain to me what the classical approach is and what are some of the strengths and the weaknesses of that approach? Well, the classical approach to apologetics engages in a two-step methodology for defending the faith. Step one is to defend the idea that God really does exist. And step two is to defend specific Christian truths like the incarnation of God in Christ and the resurrection and the Trinity and so forth. Um, the classical method is usually associated with names like Augustine, Anselm, Aquinas, people like Jonathan Edwards, Benjamin Warfield, and so forth have sort of crafted for what classical apologists consider to be the best way of defending the faith. And modern classical apologists would include names like John Gerstner, R.C. Sproul, and Norman Geisler, and William Lane Craig. The thing that distinguishes classical apologists from the other schools of thought is that for most classical apologists, God can be demonstrated through human reason by reflecting on his revelation in nature. And the arguments that classical apologists are usually attracted to are deductive in character. So that the conclusion, God exists, is a certain inference from specific premises that they take to be fundamentally reliable or more plausible than their negations or what have you. And so once the classical apologist makes his case for God's existence, he concludes that we know that God exists with certainty Interestingly, once God's existence is established, the classical apologist becomes a kind of evidentialist because he will move on to defend specific truth claims. Most classical apologists are very attracted to various design arguments for God's existence, which raise the probability that God is providentially active in the world. Most classical apologists are very attracted to the evidentialist arguments for the historicity of Jesus' resurrection. But the classical apologist is not going to say that these specific Christian truth claims are established with certainty in the way that God's existence is. So God's existence is certain, but Christianity is more probable than not with respect to our background knowledge given these evidences for the Christian faith. Um, I think the strengths of this is that the classical apologist is able to provide a systematic approach to apologetics where we start with certain basic truths and we reason to God's existence and then we make a case for Christianity and so anybody that's sitting in an apologetics class being taught by a classical apologist can kind of go through these steps in a very rational manner. I think the weakness of classical apologetics is that many classical apologists tend to become theological rationalists. Um, if they don't watch it, they will sometimes forget or often forget that ultimately it's God's grace that converts the sinner and not our rational arguments.